गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर ट्वेंटी सिक्स वी विल डिस्कस टैबिसन एंड जर्मर्स एक्सपेरिमेंट सो इट वॉज अ एक्सपेरिमेंट विच हैज प्रोवाइडेड अस द एक्सपेरिमेंटल वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ डी ब्रॉगली वेव्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू डी ब्रॉगली वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दैट एवरी मटीरियल मूविंग पार्टिकल इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद अ वेव सो हेयर वी हैव कंसिडर्ड द केस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन Actually, Davison and Germer, they have proved that the electron beam has wave character. So that's why we are considering and we are concentrating on electron beam here. So according to De Broglie, electron when it is in motion, it has a wave associated with it. And if it has a wave associated with it, then it will give diffraction pattern. because every wave it has its diffraction pattern and we know that what is diffraction diffraction is not only the bending of light around the obstacle but it is also the constructive and destructive interference with one another so waves they undergo constructive and destructive interferences to give the diffraction pattern that is maxima or minima so one another thing if electron which was at rest it is accelerated by the potential difference of 100 volts then what will be its wavelength its de broglie wavelength by the relation 12.27 divided by root v according to de broglie wavelength associated with electron is 12.27 divided by root v which we have already discussed so from that expression the de broglie wavelength of electron which is accelerated through the potential difference of 100 volts it comes out to be 1.23 angstrom and this small wavelength it is comparable to the wavelength of x rays and we know that to study the diffraction of x rays we have already studied we cannot use ordinary grating ordinary diffraction grating it cannot be used why because we know that for diffraction to take place there is one condition that the size of the obstacle or the size of the slit it must be comparable to the order of the wavelength of the waves or rays so as the wavelength of x rays is very small so we cannot use ordinary diffraction grating to study its diffraction pattern in the same way as the de broglie wavelength of electron beam is also again very small and it is of the order of x rays so ordinary transmission grating or ordinary diffraction grating it cannot be used to study its diffraction pattern so what we have used to study the diffraction pattern of x rays we have used crystal so what we did we strike the x rays by any crystal crisp having proper arrangement of atoms inside it regular arrangement so then those x rays they were scattered from the atomic planes of the crystal so here again we will use crystal having the regular arrangement of atoms in it and suppose small d be the distance between the atomic planes and the distance between the atomic planes it will act as a slit or it will act as a obstacle and the distance between the atomic planes in this crystal it is of the order of the wavelength of electron beam as well as x rays so that's why we can use crystal to study the diffraction pattern of x rays as well as electrons so this is davison and germer's apparatus which they have used to study the experimental verification of de broglie waves so here we have tungsten filament by heating this tungsten filament with the help of low voltage power supply it will emit electrons because of thermoionic emission means it will get heated up 
and then it will upon heating it will emit electrons so that is thermoionic emission so this tungsten filament upon getting supply power supply from the low voltage power supply so it will be emitting electrons and then those electrons they are being accelerated with the positive potential and then to collimate that electron beam or the emitted electrons they made to pass through these two slits s1 and s2 and from this tungsten filament when the electron beam it will move from this tungsten filament to this plate which is known as plate pp the potential difference is increasing positive potential is increasing that's why the electrons or the electron beam it will be accelerated from this tungsten filament to this plate pp so then this collimated electron beam it is made to fall on this nickel crystal then it will scatter through different angles and upon scattering it is being collected by this collection chamber which is known as electron detector and which is further connected to galvanometer and the intensity of this scattered beam it is being measured from the value of the current or value of the deflection in the galvanometer more is the deflection in the galvanometer more will be the value of current it means more will be the intensity of the scattered beam at any particular scattering angle and what is the scattering angle it is phi phi is the angle through which the incident electron beam it is being scattered by this atomic crystal so this is all about davison and germer's experiment and apparatus so here you can read the theory which i have told you just so you can read it next we will discuss the observations made by davison and germer from this experiment and you can read further theory from here and this i have already told you that the collimated beam of electrons then it will fall normally on the crystal face at point o and then it will get scattered in different directions and if small d be the interplanar spacing in the crystal and phi be the scattering angle then the scattered radiation it will be collected by the electron detector denoted by b and then which is further connected to galvanometer g and there will be deflection in the galvanometer which will give us the measure of current and higher the value of deflection higher is the value of current it means higher will be the intensity of the scattered electron beam in that particular scattering angle so then what observations they have made what they did the intensity of the scattered electron beam they have studied the intensity of the scattered beam as a function of the scattering angle for a given potential at any particular potential how the intensity of the scattered electron beam varies with the scattering angle and what they observed was that at various values of angle of scattering the intensity of scattered beam was maximum at phi is equal to 50 degree so that's why they further studied this experiment at phi is equal to 50 degree only so what they did first first they observed they studied the intensity of the scattered electron beam as a function of scattering angle at a given potential means at constant potential they vary the scattering angles and at different values of the scattering angles 
they measured the intensity of the scattered beam and the intensity of the scattered beam it was maximum at phi is equal to 50 degree so further they studied this whole experiment at this scattering angle that is at phi is equal to 50 degree only and now what they will do now they have take this phi is equal to 50 degree as constant and now they will vary the potential so the potential is being varied here you can see in figure A the potential is 44 volts, in figure B the potential is 48 volts, then in C it is 54 volts and then in figure D it is 66 volts. So here you can clearly see the peak and the peak is sharp in this case, in figure C the peak is sharp. And what this peak is telling us, it is telling us about the intensity of the scattered beam. Along y-axis, this is the incident beam, which is being incident on the crystal normally. So this is the crystal. From here, the beam, incident beam is getting scattered at phi is equal to 50 degree. And then at phi is equal to 50 degree, here they have electron detector which is further connected to galvanometer. So it will give us the measure of the intensity. So along x-axis we have intensity of the scattered beam. And they have studied it at 44 volt. At 44 volt intensity is this and this peak it is not sharp. Then at 48 volt the peak is sharper than 44 volt but it is not maximum. Then at 54 volt peak is sharp and it is having greater value than this 44 volt and then this 48 volts. Then they have further increased the potential from 54 to 66 volts. And what they have observed is that the intensity of the scattered beam it has decreased at phi is equal to 50 degree. It means the intensity of the scattered electron beam it is maximum at phi is equal to 50 degree and at voltage is equal to 54 volt. So what we will do? We will measure the wavelength of the electron, the wavelength of the wave associated with the electron beam at phi is equal to 50 degree and at potential is equal to 54 volts. So now we will calculate the de Broglie wavelength associated with the wave, the de Broglie wavelength of the wave which is associated with the electron beam at potential is equal to 54 volts and it comes out to be 12.27 by root 54. So it is 1.67 angstrom approximately. So next, as this electron beam, it has wave associated with it and the nature of that wave, it is similar to that of X-rays and for the diffraction pattern of X-rays, we have used Bragg's law of diffraction. So here also we will use Bragg's law of diffraction and for first order diffraction, we know that lambda is equal to 2d sin theta according to Bragg's law. And from the figure, from this figure, you can clearly see that this theta, this is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of reflection. Both of these are equal. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So, this is theta then this will also be theta then on this atomic plane this theta plus phi plus theta it is total is equal to 180 degree so that's why we have used this theta plus phi plus theta it is equal to 180 degree so we have theta plus theta will be 2 theta it is equal to 180 degree minus phi what is phi from the observations? 
द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द स्कैटर्ड बीम इज मैक्सिमम एट फाइव इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी डिग्री सो फाइव इज फिफ्टी डिग्री सो वन एटी माइनस फिफ्टी विल बी वन थर्टी हेयर फ्रॉम हेयर वी विल कैलकुलेट दिस थीटा विच इज सिक्सटी फाइव डिग्री एंड एज वी आर यूजिंग निकल क्रिस्टल एंड द क्रिस्टल ऑफ निकल क्लोराइड एंड इन केस ऑफ दिस क्रिस्टल द इंटरप्लेनर स्पेसिंग इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन वन एंगस्ट्रॉम सो लेमडा कम्स आउट टू बी टू डी साइन थीटा एंड इट इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव एंगस्ट्रॉम सो यू कैन क्लियरली सी फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वन लेमडा कम्स आउट टू बी वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन एंगस्ट्रॉम एंड फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन थ्री इट कम्स आउट टू बी वन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव एंगस्ट्रॉम सो अप्रोक्सीमेटली बोथ द वेवलेंथ दे आर इक्वल इट मीन्स द वेवलेंथ ऑप्टेन्ड फ्रॉम ब्रैग्स लॉ ऑफ डायफ्रैक्शन एंड द वेवलेंथ ऑप्टेन्ड फ्रॉम डी ब्रॉगली हाइपोथिस बोथ आर इक्वल सो इन दिस वे द डेविसन एंड जर्मर दे हैव प्रूव्ड सक्सेसफुली द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ वेव्स डी ब्रॉगली वेव्स एसोसिएटेड विद मटीरियल पार्टिकल्स एंड इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट दे हैव एक्सपेरिमेंटली वेरीफाइड that the electron has a wave character means there is a wave which is associated with the electrons during its motion so in the end write this this is one of the most important topic of this chapter